but we're gonna go to Muncie, Indiana today. Muncie, Indiana is where they invented the ball jar. I have my store in Solana Beach, but there are stores all over the land, like in Canada and Alabama and New York. They're all selling this paint right here. They're like spreading the good news. I thought it would be really fun if you guys could get to meet them. If you would like to see more videos from the other people who sell my paint, just click the link down below. The very first video I have for you today is from the Hannah family. We're gonna go there together right now through the power of the internet. I can't wait for you to meet them. I will put the links down below to their YouTube channel. Go subscribe, they've got some really fun videos. They have an amazing store. So that's what we're gonna do. Hi, I'm Rebecca from Refresh in Muncie, Indiana. This year, we are celebrating Muncie's sesquicentennial. And a fun fact about Muncie is that we are home of the ball jar. Ball jars were made here from 1888 until 1962. So that vintage ball jar you have at home came from right here in Muncie. One of our favorite projects is to take an ordinary ball jar, paint it with Debbie's Design Diary DIY paint, use it as a decor piece, or give it as a gift. So we're going to head over to the ball jar bar, and Connie and Kate are going to show us how to paint glass using Debbie's DIY paint, and we'll add some embellishments and show you how you can make your ball jar truly special. I'm Connie. I'm Kate. Today, we are going to be talking about our ball jar bar at Refresh in Muncie, Indiana. This is a new addition to our store, and at the ball jar bar, you can paint your own jar in any of our lovely colors of chalk type paint or you can pick from a beautiful selection of already painted jars and then you can embellish them as you choose. And all of our embellishments um, are just cute decorative things so I know a lot of you are super crafty people anyway. I mean you probably have some of this stuff lying around the house, extra ribbons, scrapbooking, flowers or embellishments. Um, so don't feel like you have to run out to the store and get all of this stuff. Um, but if you want to take a trip to the craft store, because those are super fun, um, feel free to. We'll be using um, our lovely selection today, and we've already pre-picked out a couple things so we knew what colors we were going to use. And today we are going to paint one jar cowgirl coral and the other jar hay sailor, and then we're going to embellish that. So we'll step over into front of our ball jar bar and we will get painted. We like Debbie's Design Diary <laughs> DIY um, chalk type paint because it'll adhere to basically any surface. Um, these ones are glass, clearly, um, and it'll adhere right to that. Get a nice generous amount on your paintbrush and just start painting. Um, paint goes on nice and thick. Has a really good coverage. And you paint all the way around. You can paint the bottom of it, or you don't have to, whatever you choose. I'll be using Hey Sailor. And now we're ready to paint our second coat on our ball jars. And as you can see, it covers a lot better on the second coat. Um, I always find that that first coat works more like a bonding agent on glass. We get a really nice Nice coverage on your second coat. We'll put that in front of the fan when Kate paints her second coat of Hey Sailor. Now, we're going to show you how to wet distress. Wet distressing is super easy to do. Just take a wet paper towel or a wet rag and rub off on raised areas or anywhere that you want the glass to show through. Ball jars are really fun because it just pulls off perfectly on the lettering. Beautiful. Now Kate is going to distress her jar as well. And then we are going to apply a clear patina on top of the jars. Debbie's DIY patina on top of the jars and it's gonna give it a nice glossy finish. Pa -pa patina! Oh, we 
you always make sure you get your potato mixed up real well. Um, I always recommend putting it in some other kind of container and not just dipping it out of the jar. Um, you can get some color transfer from the paint and you don't want to ruin your whole jar of patina. So I like to use the foam brush when I put patina on. And the same method as you do painting. Just cover your entire surface. You're going to see where the patina's at on there. And look with it. Patina is one of my favorite top coats to use. Um, it has a really awesome soft feel and has a really nice sheen to it. Our ball dries are dry, now it's time to embellish them. We hope you enjoy painting your ball jars with Debbie's Design Diary DIY paint. And if you're ever in Indiana, come stop by downtown Muncie and visit us at Refresh. If you live in Muncie, Indiana, go in and meet the Hannah family. Tell them that I sent you. Maybe you live on Vancouver Island. Maybe you live in Florida. Maybe you live in Maine. The only place we don't have paint right now is South Dakota. We need someone like in the North Dakota, South Dakota, Idaho area.